Okay, welcome back to my opinion. Um, this little video is going to be about the misunderstanding of the Second Amendment. Um, I'm kind of in a little debate with um, another YouTuber, I think social scientist or something like that, someone who should know better, but clearly does not and is very biased, in my opinion, very biased about what the Second Amendment really stands for, what it is, and what it really means and pertains to. The Second Amendment was written by the, by the found, Founding Fathers, sorry, I can't speak, um, during a time that everyone was armed. You just, you just were. There were hostile Native Americans. Uh, there were other people. Um, the British government had just finally been defeated and kicked out. Um, you know, the, the American Revolution, etc. People having guns weren't explicitly talked about that much because the Founding Fathers believed that it was common sense. There wasn't anything to debate. People, of course, were going to have guns for self-defense, for hunting, etc. So that's not what the Second Amendment's about. The debate was, should people be armed in case they have to overthrow their government if it becomes tyrannical? The right to defend yourself and to have a gun upon you to bear arms, quote, bear arms, was a God-given or a natural right, depending on your religious views. For me, it would be a natural right. Um, so there was no debate. They didn't need to talk about that. What they wanted to, to explicitly claim, and it was because they seen their own government, the British, first thing they did was try to take away weapons. They wanted to take the colonists' weapons away. Now, why do you think they wanted to do that? They knew they'd be fighting a war with them um, over taxes, etc. So, of course, when it came time, the Founding Fathers, being the militia themselves, the people, there was no standing army, the people was the militia. They wanted to make sure that every able man could defend the country against not only the British, but a tyrannical government, just as the one they had just decided to secede from, in which they wrote their Declaration of Independence from. It has nothing to do with hunting. It has nothing to do with sport shooting, and it has absolutely nothing to do with self-defense. Nothing. That was, a, like I said, a God-given or a natural right was self-defense. So there was no need to even discuss that. Um, even though in the Federalist Papers there's stuff that's basically where the, the Founding Fathers talk back and forth, write back and forth to each other. Um, you know, some quotes, no free man shall ever be debarred the use of arms. Of course, that sounds like that's pertaining to... Uh, free man against government. Uh, George Washington, the, the uh, people, the firearms are the people's teeth. Now, that's clearly pertaining to government. Uh, but there's a whole lot of that stuff. Patrick Henry, etc., so on and so forth. Um, are firearms dangerous? Of course they are. They're firearms. Cars are dangerous too. Tall buildings are dangerous. Prescription medications are dangerous. Swimming pools, far more dangerous for kids than firearms are. Criminals use firearms, but good people use them too. We just don't hear about those cases that much. Um, it's estimated that firearms are used in self-defense or to protect property, etc., far more times than they're used illegally. And let's be honest, the 
criminals don't care about the Second Amendment. They don't even know what you're talking about, most likely. They could care less. And if you disarm the law-abiding people, you're making it easier for the criminals. So I don't really understand the whole debate of what some of these people think that the Second Amendment is for. I mean, it says, quote, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. I really don't understand how people don't understand that. And if you do have some confusion, all you have to do is look up what the Founding Fathers wrote to each other about. They talked about this stuff. They wrote each other back and forth about the amendments, about the Constitution, about the Bill of Rights. It's clear what they were talking about. You know, if you go into this with some bias, ooh, it says militia. Militia was the people. There was no army. There was no standing army. The militia were the people. <laughs> you know, George Washington wasn't the president during um, the American Revolution. He was a militia. He led militias who all got together and became eventually a standing army. Even after the American Revolution, we didn't have a standing army because they distrusted government so much that they fought over if they should have a federal government, you know, and what powers it would have. But, yeah, I mean, just do some research on what the Second Amendment is really about. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe, and stay safe and be safe.